T minus 17, final guidance release. We'll expect engine ignition at 8.9 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, ignition sequence started. All engines are started. We have ignition. 2, 1, 0. We have a liftoff. We have a liftoff and it's lighting up the area. It's just like daylight here at Kennedy Space Center. Today we're going to be doing uh, definitely a, less no a lesser known exoplanet, um, AU Micro Scooby B. <laughs> um, I definitely am not saying that one right, but um, NASA refers to the star it orbits as AU Mic, so we'll call it AU Mic B. Um, but this is a massive gas giant, so we're not really looking at a very habitable planet here to say the least um au mic b is a giant giant gas giant um a lot like jupiter uh and you can see it has a nice little ring of dust here um but that ring of dust indicates something something that really makes it non-habitable but in order to figure this out let's jump over to the star here so you can see uh, AU Mic is the star that AU Mic B orbits, um, and it is a M-type star. Now, it's not just an M-type star, it's a very, very young M-type star. It's only about um, 12 million years old, uh, which is less than 1% of the age of our sun. And this guy is 23 light years away from Earth. So, it's quite a red dwarf, to say the least. It radiates only about 9% as much luminosity as our sun. So, it's not very bright. It's uh, definitely young. And um, it's uh, quite deadly. Every so often, it likes to shoot out massive blasts of radiation and flares... And that is one of the reasons why we see a Umic B has a massive disk of debris floating around it. It is it has been uh, blasted by some radiation, some sort of solar flare, and uh, a Umic B being a red dwarf. Um, this probably happens quite a bit. Um, that is an aurora borealis. You couldn't even imagine. <laughs> um, nonetheless, uh, AU Mic B is the only planet we know of in the system, and it's uh, 23 light years away from Earth, as you can see over there. Um, but let's go and open up our panel here uh, just to find a little more info about it. Oh, there you go. So you've heard of the terrible twos. Well, AU Mix in the midst of its terrible 22 millions, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but yes, uh, as you can see here, um, AU Mic B is captive inside of a looming disk of ghostly dust and, and dust and ceaselessly torments it with deadly blasts of x-rays and other radiation. So, being around that star would not be very fun whatsoever. Um, and that's just the thing with red dwarfs, you know? <laughs> They're quite temperamental. But this guy was just discovered this year, so uh, definitely a new discovery. And um, if we go down to the planet comparisons here, we'll see its orbital radius is 0 0.066 astronomical units. Its orbital period is 8.5 days that means it orbits very, very quickly, um, and its orbital and ascent eccentricity is zero point one. Um, that one always takes me a minute to say. It's just eccentricity is a hard word for me to pronounce for some reason. Um, and then we've got our gorgeous little planetary comparison here. Its mass is zero point eight Jupiters. 
and its radius is 0 0.375 times Jupiter. So it is quite small compared to Jupiter. Um, but in terms of our solar comparison here, um, AU Mic is a little smaller than our sun. Um, and that is, of course, because it is significantly younger. Its mass is 0.5% of our sun, and its radius is 0.75% of our sun. Um, and this is my favorite part. So, if you remember how far away it is, um, this is how long it would take to drive there. <laughs> this is how long it would take to fly there. And if we had... Uh, a seat on the Voyager space probe, it would take 564,000 years to get there. Um, and then traveling at light speed would take 32 years. So it's a lot closer than uh, Kepler 22b um, traveling at light speed. But I don't know why you would ever want to go there because uh, it blasts out some furious rays, some furious furious radiation blast and AU Microscoby B is unfortunately in the midst of all of it but nonetheless this is a pretty cool exoplanet because it's it's a new discovery and new discoveries are always neat to dive into as I mentioned last time I wanted to cover some lesser known exoplanets and this guy is definitely one of them check in next week and hopefully we'll have a little more interesting um exoplanet explorations for you guys to jump onto nonetheless i hope you enjoyed this video and um well we'll talk to you soon <laughs>